You're watching continued video playback from Space Shuttle Atlantis. This was video that was captured during the fly-around activity as pilot Alan Poindexter was maneuvering Space Shuttle Atlantis a distance about 400 feet as it was making its way around the orbiting complex. The two spacecraft now traveling about 10 miles apart as they're making their way just off the southwest coast of Australia. They're about midway through their crew day, the space shuttle crew focusing on uh, preparations for the inspection activity, which will go on throughout the afternoon. That's scheduled to start in just a little less than an hour from now. They'll start with the starboard wing and then move on to the nose cap survey and then finish up with the left or port wing. Once they've completed the survey activity and ensured all that imagery is down to the ground, they'll then proceed with berthing the orbiter boom sensor system. That's the 50-foot uh, extension, putting that back in its stowed position on the left sill of the payload bay. That activity this afternoon will be done by Commander Steve Frick, who will be joined by Leland Melvin and Stan Love, as well as Hans Schlegel, for the survey activities, which is a uh, routine activity now before the uh, vehicle is cleared for reentry, enabling the ground team to have a chance to ensure there hasn't been any damage to the thermal protection system that would cause a concern for reentry. While that activity is ongoing throughout the afternoon, they also have some other tasks slated, including the final st uh, stowage of the EMUs, or the spacesuits, and basically the teardown and configuration of other equipment on board in preparation for their landing on Wednesday. They also have a fair amount of off-duty time intermixed uh, amongst those tasks, as well as exercise, which is planned for all crew members during a space flight. The late inspection is uh, slated to begin at 7.20 a.m. Central Time. That will go on for several hours. Meanwhile, on NASA TV, we'll be bringing you the mission status briefing. That's scheduled for 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern. That will be with lead shuttle flight director Mike Serafin from the Johnson Space Center. We'll also have a NASA video file replay at 11 a.m. Central Time and a post-mission management team update on console with Leroy Kane, the mission management team chair. That will be at 2.30 p.m. We'll keep you updated on that uh, activity as well. The uh, Atlantis crew is scheduled for sleep at 3.45 p.m. Central Time.